I'm going to create an add-on instruction using Schneider Electric's Unity Pro. And Schneider Electric calls their add-on instructions derived function blocks. So I created a new project under the derived function blocks. We just double click and it will create a pump. Now within the derived function block we have inputs, we have outputs, and we have section logic. So we will create our start push button and I can't spell. We'll make that an extended boolean so we can attach and then we put our stop. I'm going to respell start and then I'm going to create my motor. So I've got two inputs and one output and then we create our section of logic. Call it motor logic. We want this to be in ladder so I'll say OK simply double click and I'm going to zoom in a tad and we'll create the logic. So I need an open contact for the start, the stop, the latch, and I need a coil and then I need my heart vertical short, excuse me. And then I'll declare my variables and we'll put our start. We will put our motor latch. We will put our stop and so that we don't have any misspellings we will select the motor okay and I messed up with the stop so we'll make that a normally closed I am done with my pump the only thing left to do is to build the project now let's use that function block in the editor so we go down and we create a new section of logic everyone's programmed in ladder so I'll program this in function block I'll give it a name of motor DFB and then I will use the function block assistant and I will select pump and I will say OK and I'll slap her there. If I have several pumps I simply right click control C and control V and we'll put that there. So let's type our start one create it on the fly stop one create it on the fly let me zoom in a tad so you can see what we're doing and we got our pump one create it on the fly start two stop two and pump two pump 2. And if I have a third pump simply select this, control C, control V, and we'll put the third pump there. We'll change the variables to 3. So I've created the derived function block and then I put it in the program three times. So now I'm going to connect to the PLC, but I don't have any hardware, so we'll use CNAD's onboard simulator. We will transfer the project to the PLC. Confirm run. I'm running down here, you can tell. And let's test our logic. So we'll rubber band around everything and we'll initialize an animation table. We'll resize our window so that we can see what's going on. And let's see if I can set this up. Beautiful. and we'll simply modify and we'll set the start and you should see pump one come on stop pump one and you see that it's turned off so we can start pump two and we can stop pump two and you can also right click set the value to a one 